All right, folks, the time has come. We have gotten our final Haunted House announcement for Halloween Horror Nights 33. Not the final announcement for Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood, but the 10th house announced for Halloween Horror Nights Orlando, the final big bi-coastal IP coming to the event. And it's one we all know and love with a bit of a new twist. Today, Thursday, July 25th at about noon, we got announced. Universal Monsters Eternal Bloodlines. Now, this is technically an IP coming to Universal Orlando and Hollywood. The Universal Monsters houses kind of operate in the gray area where they are original stories, but they are based on the classic Universal Monsters films. That being said, even though this is technically considered an IP, we did not get a video for this one, unfortunately, but we did get a description to give us an idea as to what we're going to see in this haunted house. The description reads, get caught in an epic battle as Saskia Van Helsing and the Bride of Frankenstein go up against Dracula's daughter and her monstrous mavens. So yes, this is an all-female Universal Monsters house led by Saskia Van Helsing and the Bride of Frankenstein. As the name states, Eternal Bloodline, Saskia Van Helsing is the daughter of the original Van Helsing who had encounters with Dracula. And of course, they're going up against Dracula's daughter. So this is going to be another sort of battle royale type house, a lot like what we saw with Legends Collide back in 2022. But it's not just these two, we have quite a few different characters we're seeing, some characters we're seeing in this house for the very first time. Of course, we have the Bride of Frankenstein returning. She did have a house back at Halloween Horror Nights 2021, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Based on the key art here, it looks like this is going to be a direct sequel to that Bride of Frankenstein Lives Haunted House, which is cool because we don't really see a whole lot of direct connections between these Universal Monsters houses. They kind of operate in their own lanes. Bride of Frankenstein Lives and Legends Collide and Unmasked are all kind of three different stories, but this one seems to have a direct connection to that 2021 Haunted House. Of course, we're going to encounter Countess Maria, aka Dracula's daughter, and Countess Maria is forming an army with two other female universal monsters, the She-Wolf of London and the undead mummified Egyptian princess, Ankh Sunamun. Now we did also get some details about the different versions of this house we're going to see in both Orlando and Hollywood. Universal Studios Hollywood is bringing this house to life in Soundstage 12, which has quite a history with the universal monsters. This was the real location where films such as Dracula, Frankenstein, and The Bride of Frankenstein were filmed. Of course, many other movies have been filmed there in the years since then, but of course, having this tie to the classic monsters makes this house in that location so much cooler. Universal Studios Hollywood has that real world history with the movie Monsters, and I really love that they're diving into that with this haunted house. They're also bringing back Slash to compose the music for this haunted house. Slash has done the music for all the most recent Universal Monsters houses in Hollywood, so it's no surprise that we're seeing Slash return turn to compose new music for this haunted house. What's really cool though is that this music for Eternal Bloodlines plus all the previous Universal Monsters music composed by Slash is set to be released on a limited edition vinyl exclusive to Universal Studios Hollywood. And to that I say, who do I gotta talk to? Who do I gotta get in contact with to get me one of these vinyls? I need it. We also got some details about Universal Orlando's version of this haunted house, in that we are also getting some original score composed for Eternal Bloodlines. Emmy-nominated composer Sarah Barone, or Baroni, I'm not sure how to say it, is creating the original score for this haunted house. She is most known for her work with BBC's Planet Earth 3, as well as Amazon's Silver and the Book of Dreams. So we're getting all new original music score for this haunted house in Orlando. I'm super stoked to see that. I feel like with original score, you could definitely tailor it to the haunted house, make those moments feel that much more epic. Right now, we don't have any new merchandise available in the park for this haunted house, but regardless, Universal Monsters Eternal Bloodlines is coming to this year's event, the final house for Halloween Horror Nights Orlando. We still have one scare zone yet to be announced for Orlando and a few more houses for Hollywood, but now we have officially all 10 haunted houses announced for Halloween Horror Nights Orlando. Orlando this year. That means it's time to get into some hype list. I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm going to have another video later on once we get that final scare zone announced. 
But let me know down in the comments below, what do you think about Universal Monsters Eternal Bloodlines? Are you excited for this house? Which Universal Monster that I described in this video are you most excited to see in this haunted house? If you like videos like this about HHN of the past, present, and future updates about this year's event, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It would let me know you like videos like this one and you want me to make more of them. If you didn't see it already, I did a video yesterday talking about a bunch of new details for the haunted houses and scare zones coming to this event, more on the original side. Go check that out if you haven't already. Midsummer Scream is coming up this weekend and I'm expecting John Murdy to take the stage on Sunday and talk a little more about Universal Monsters Eternal Bloodlines. But until then, I wanna thank y'all for watching this video, of course. I will see you in the next one. Stay spooky and take care, everybody.